Welcome back. Director of Settlement and Land Records has won a national award of excellence from Computer Society of India. The award ceremony is scheduled on 26th November. Director Mihir Vardhan has informed that all the updated resurvey maps will be launched on 29th or 30th November. And this year, the same organization now has recognized the achievement that we have made in land records and they have given us an award of excellence for this e-governance initiative. Mihir Vardhan informed about the updated maps to be launched. The first Taluka maps will be released including Panaji city. We will be releasing either on 29th or 30th at the hands of Honorable Chief Minister and uh, Honorable Revenue Minister. And thereafter, every one or two months, we will go on releasing the other data of the updated, uh, updated resurvey data of the remaining talukas and we hope to complete this whole exercise in about a year's time. The collector will be checking whether the structure is legal or not because before any name gets included in the textual data in the form 1 and 14, the legality has to be proved. Web-based system will enable access of Goan land records globally. Now in a web-based system, all that you need to do is that you can sit at your home you can be in Goa, you can be outside the state, you can be in Delhi, you can be in Bombay, or you can be outside the country. Okay? From anywhere, you can access our records, you can see the textual form, you can see the graphic form, you can go to your land parcel, you can see it, and if you want, you can print it also through a pay payment gateway. A reporter from Panji Devidas Kamli with video journalist Sunny Narvekar. Left parties held a nationwide protest on Monday. They are protesting against the U.S. President Barack Obama's India visit. Similar protests were also held near Captain of Ports Jetty in Panji. Left parties are demanding the extradition of Warren Anderson from U.S. responsible for the Bhopal gas tragedy. On Monday, the Communist Party Goa held protests to oppose U.S. President Barack Obama's visit to India. The protest was part of the nationwide protest by left parties. The protest highlighted the Bhopal gas accident and demanded that U.S. should extradite Warren Anderson to India to stand trial. The leaders are demanding that the U.S. should make Dow Chemicals pay for the damages in Bhopal and the clean-up at the factory site. The defense treaty in the army, the nuclear liability bill, has not the columns, has not the clauses, has not the clauses to amount of fatigue, has not the Nuclear supplier arms are just on the Opak Shakta. A yeah, capitalist company and the multinationals are the such a Raj such a Kabja Karpak and it's a guy what Karpak to Ela. We, as a prophetic voice, we want to raise a voice of protest. We respect and admire all the people of all the world, American Dorun, Americans are good people. We also like them. We also have great affection for them. We also respect Mr. Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. But we cannot agree with their policies. The left parties want USA to stop pressuring India on foreign policy. CPI says the US wants India to open up agriculture, retail trade, education and other services for its capital and multinational companies. Left parties warn that the India-US Defence Framework Agreement be scrapped. They interpret it as a way to convert India into a military ally of the United States. I reporter Devidas Kamli with video journalist Devinder Gaonkar. The crime branch officials have revealed that highly influential persons are trying to influence the investigation in the Nadia Torado death case. Investigating officer P.I. Sunita Savant has filed a counter-affidavit before the Supreme Court opposing anticipatory bail to Lyndon Montero. Lyndon Montero is accused number two in the Nadia Torado death case. In this affidavit, the cops in the counter affidavit have claimed that the granting of anticipatory bail may hamper the investigation in the Nadia Torado death case. Cops say that the investigation is in the preliminary stage. Miki Pacheco's close aide Lyndon Montero has applied for an anticipatory bail before the Supreme Court. He has an interim relief in this case till the plea is disposed. The hearing on the plea was scheduled on Monday. Lyndon is number two accused in the Nadia Dorado death case and is right now on conditional interim anticipatory bail. Crime branch has taken a strong objection to the relief sought by Lyndon. 
P.I. Sunita Savant has filed an affidavit in the Supreme Court requesting rejection of Lyndon's plea. The affidavit says, Lyndon's anticipatory bail plea be rejected. Highly influential persons trying to influence the investigations. Petitioner Lyndon Montero is required for judicial interrogation. Grant of anticipatory bail might hamper investigations. Police custody is necessary for the recovery of weapons of an assault. Bureau report, Prudent Media. A car with an AK-47 gun inside it was found abandoned at Nuve. However, it turned out that the gun was a toy imitation. The car was abandoned at the place for the last eight days. This gun could easily fool anyone. The gun that looks like an AK-47 sent shivers among the locals after the Tata Indigo car bearing a Maharashtra registration was found abandoned at Nuve along the NH-17 highway. But after Maina Kurtori police searched the car, the gun turned out to be nothing but a toy. The car was apparently stolen and was lying at the place for the last eight days. This is the abandoned vehicle which has got some toys in there. Uh, we have managed to open the vehicle and we also contacted the owner as for the documents which we have found in the vehicle. We called on that uh, cell phone and uh, we could talk to him. So yeah, the guy on the other side has confirmed that the vehicle belongs to him. So we will verify. And he, our reporter from Nuve, Ramesh Naik Raut. Lots more coming up on the other side of this bulletin. For now, a short break. Stay tuned.